Goku vs Frieza on Namek is perhaps the most iconic battle in Dragon Ball history. It was a long, brutal fight that culminated with the emergence of the first Super Saiyan in a thousand years. Ultimately, this power would allow Goku to gain victory in this battle. But what if, in a different timeline, Goku died in his battle with Frieza due to overconfidence in his new powers? Frieza, although suffering major injuries, manages to escape the planet's destruction alongside his subordinate, Captain Ginyu. And this is where our story begins, with Goku dead and a mechanized, revenge-driven Frieza bound for Earth. Who would be left to challenge the might of the tyrant? The answer is in this story. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends! In Raid, you'll get to train and customize hundreds of unique champions. Let's have a look here. These champions from the Dark Elves faction look like tough customers. Many of my strongest opponents have been evil guys. But you know, given the right incentive, they can become your most powerful allies. As your champions get stronger, you'll be able to face off against more powerful enemies called bosses. But trust me, nobody's gonna boss my champions around. This month, Raid has a stacked schedule of awesome events including a Halloween lineup, fragment events, new legendary champions, and player versus player tournaments. Yeah, sounds exciting. Raid is bigger and better than ever, and we at Rising Fist want to give you a huge head start in your journey to become the strongest. Hit the link in the description or scan this QR code and you'll get access to Chonaru, an awesome epic champion. You'll also get 200,000 silver, an XP boost, energy refill, and an ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. You can collect rewards right here. So what are you waiting for? Start your journey and raid today. Wait, I'm dead in this story? Oh, come on! Freezer Planet 79, several months later. Everything is all set, Lord Freezer. We're done already. You may open your eyes and move around if you like. How are you feeling? <laughs> Damn Saiyans. Due to their interference, I was forbidden from attaining eternal life. Have my ship and squadron of my best soldiers ready. We're departing immediately for Earth. Uh, y yes, Lord Frieza. In my battle against the Saiyans, it's personal. And you mustn't interfere, understood? Yes, Lord Frieza. Lord Frieza, I wanted to request to be included in the expedition to Earth. Ah, Captain Ginyu. Very well, Captain Ginyu, I shall give you another chance to clean your image. But should I remind you that after the sounding failure of your special forces on Namek, you're lucky to still be alive? And if you ever interrupt me again, that luck will run out. <clears throat> yes, my lord. I am deeply grateful for this opportunity, Lord Frieza. All systems checked and ready, Lord Frieza. You may leave whenever you like, sir. Excellent. All aboard, then. I'm coming for you, Saiyans. And this time, I will finish you all. <laughs> so this is Earth. Not a bad planet. Sir, a great power level is approaching. It could be Vegeta. How convenient. To think he would come to us, we don't even have to bother searching for him. Frieza. Vegeta, it's been a long time. Still believing that fairy tale of the legendary Super Saiyan? If you are here, then that means that... <laughs> are you talking about that Saiyan Goku? I killed him quite easily. When he said he had become a Super Saiyan, he turned arrogant and careless. Ugh. However, it seems you were hurt pretty badly. <laughs> it must have been a rough battle. Hm. Saiyans have the unpleasant habit of constantly attempting to irritate others. If Kakarot was able to hurt you, that means I will be able to beat you. Insolent Saiyan! <laughs> Huh? 
Make no mistake, Vegeta. No momentary distraction will allow you to win this combat. <laughs> what happened to that ferocity of yours? There you are. You won't be able to hide from me! I... I won't be so easily defeated by you. Insect! Soldier Guano, if you continue to incite disruption among the troops, it'll be considered an act of insubordination. And you already know the punishment for insubordinates, so I suggest you remain silent. My, my apologies, Captain Ginyu. <laughs> Damn Vegeta. Am I once again concerned by a filthy Saiyan monkey? I'll use my power at 100% and crush him! The legendary Super Saiyan was meant to be a chosen warrior that appears every 1,000 years. And I beat him! That means I am without contest, the strongest of all the universe! Although, Vegeta hasn't transformed again. I remember that the other Saiyan also weakened after the transformation. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand what these so-called Super Saiyans are. It will be better if I just cool down a bit. <laughs> Saiyans are one special kind of pest, aren't you? You can be left for dead and yet you recover and become even stronger. I still remember clearly the day I came across Planet Vegeta and its crude inhabitants. In spite of being an amusing species at first, I never thought insects like you could be such a nuisance one day. In the past, I underestimated your evolutionary capacity and I allowed you maggots to develop to the point you feel capable of challenging Lord Frieza. But now I see that your so-called legendary Super Saiyan is nothing but just a transformation, like many other races in the universe are able to develop. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, it's only fitting that a power that is something worthy of legends for the Saiyans be simply natural to my family. It seems your Super Saiyan transformation gives you a great deal of power, but it's also hard to control, hmm? You're not even capable of sustaining that state for a long time. Shut up! I am Prince Vegeta! I'm a true Super Saiyan! And I'm... <laughs> Vegeta, after all these years, you're still the same surly and arrogant boy that doesn't know how to behave according to his place! <coughs> oh, do you want to know some other interesting detail? That other Saiyan that you called Kakarot was more powerful than you. <coughs> it's been fun, but I'm afraid there's no point in dragging this battle any further. Are you ready to die? Sh shut it! Shut your mouth, you maggot! Kakarot is nothing! I am the Saiyan Prince Vegeta! And I will defeat you, Frieza! Even. Both have suffered bad injuries, yet they still keep fighting. They're mostly blocking or dodging. Whoever manages to get even the tiniest advantage will be the winner. 
Soldier, battles such as these cannot be witnessed every day. Therefore, we must pay very close attention. So we're gonna take a closer look at the action. There! Ginyu Troop, go! <laughs> Take this! Big Bang Attack! I won't be defeated by a filthy Saiyan ape! Nobody will ever defeat Frieza! I am supreme! I am invincible! Surpassed you, Ka Karat. Vegeta is dead too. But, but Captain Ginyu, what will we do now that Lord Frieza is dead? Should we report back to Commander Cold? Don't be ridiculous, Soldier Guano. First. We start by exterminating all the population of this miserable planet. Then we... So you're planning on conquering this planet? Well, I'm sorry to inform you, but that's not going to happen. Huh, a Namekian. You're crazy if you think you alone can defeat us all. And who said it was only Piccolo who will fight you guys? We will protect the Earth too. We will have our revenge against the Frieza Force! Hmm. <laughs> As if I wasn't enough to handle this trash on my own. It's true that I wouldn't be a rival to Frieza. But you are nothing more than maggots! Get ready! Can't take this! Technique. Curse you! You think we're going to give up without fighting? I could beat one of them, but these three together are too much. My soldiers are useless. <laughs> the Namekian is the strongest. Even if I couldn't control all of his power, at first, I would have the element of surprise, which would give me the advantage over his allies. <laughs> Change! I don't appreciate you leaving me out of this, Mr. Piccolo. I was trying to protect you. And instead, you ended up saving me. Okay, we have to finish these guys to bring peace to planet Earth and the rest of the universe. You got it! Well, it seems that this is the end of Frieza's conquest. Who would have thought? Our friends will keep the Earth safe. You must be really proud of Gohan, Goku. <laughs> 
Yeah, he has become really strong. By the way, thank you very much for your services, Uranai Baba. Oh, you're most welcome, King Kai. It's my honor. <laughs> However, since I have the rare opportunity of meeting you, a great master such as yourself surely knows many strong fighters, and I'm always on the lookout for new talent. You understand? The show has to be kept fresh. Well, apart from these three youngsters and the ones that are over on planet Earth, it's been a while since I got to know any new warriors worth noting. Although in the old days, the King Kai's used to organize a celestial tournament. What? A celestial tournament? Why, yes, a tournament with the best of the other world. Really? Uh, Krillin, did you hear that? Can we participate? Please say yes, King Kai. Please! Well, I'll see what I can do. <sighs> it's ironic that after all the headaches he caused us, without wanting it, Vegeta became the savior of the Earth in the end. Hey, Krillin, don't just stand there. We need to train real hard. Huh? Yes, I'm coming. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good one. <laughs> Without wanting it, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Hey yo guys, and thank you so much for checking out this amazing story by the immensely talented Matias Soto Lopez, and thank you once again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. You'll find links to Raid, Matias, and the voice cast in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.